Amen. Well, again, we bless the Lord today. Amen. We're yeah. back. Uh, we're going to get ready to uh, jump into our uh, lesson today. Amen. Um, and I, I called it a lesson, but it's probably more of a um, of a teaching or, or time of instruction. Um, if, if, if I can say it like that. Amen. Uh, which I do say it like that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Um, so praise God. Uh, I'm trying to get this thing done real quick. Amen. But it ain't working with me. Be acting. Be acting funny. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Acting. Amen. Anybody else say that? Acting instead of acting? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just me? Amen. <laughs> amen. Well, you know, we all got our own little dialects, amen. Because I was telling somebody about Simon. They was talking about Simon. I was talking about Simon. <laughs> I ain't going to say who that was. Amen. <laughs> Simon. This, now, that's Simon. <laughs> but we got our own dialects. We got our own little stuff that we be saying. So I say acting. Don't be acting up. Amen. Yeah. Don't y'all be acting up. Everybody ready? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going back to Luke, the ninth chapter. Luke, the ninth chapter. Amen. And so for those of you uh, who may not have already uh, uh, started listening to us or, 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 or working with us, amen, um, last week I gave us the intro. I gave us the intro and I told us we're going to be starting a series called what? Church is easy, but ministry is difficult. Amen. Church is easy. Ministry is is difficult. Once again, church is easy. Ministry is difficult. Hallelujah. Amen. And so again, so we're going to call this part one. Amen. Part one. Once again, Luke, the ninth chapter. Luke, the ninth chapter. And I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version. We're going to be reading verses 23 and 24. 23 and 24. And the title of this is, Take Up the Cross and Follow Him. Mm -hmm. Amen? So verse 23 reads like this. It says, Then he said to them all, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Amen. You can have your seats. Hallelujah. Right there. Amen. Right there. Right there. Right there. Somebody say right there. Right there. Amen. And so church is easy. Ministry is difficult. Church is easy. Ministry is difficult. And so even that very title, just, just, just to hear those words, I know it will cause some to scratch their head. What, what you mean by that? Amen. And I'm glad that, it, you know, that, that inquiring minds want to know what, what, what do you really mean by church is easy, ministry is difficult. Amen. And so I'm going to uh, uh, take my time and we're going to walk through this thing. Amen. Um, but to, 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 to read it and to start out again, the, 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 the title over the top is take up the cross and follow him. Mm -hmm. Take up the cross and follow him. Amen. And so the text begins by saying, then he said to them all. Somebody say all. all. Amen. And so the thing that we have to know is that he was talking to his disciples. Amen. And so, and if you want to go back up and read from the beginning, again, Jesus is having this discussion with those in his circle. He's having this discussion with those that's been walking with him, that's been, that's watched him do ministry, that, that's watched him uh, 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 heal the sick, amen, that, that have observed him on a mission from God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so he's talking to him. He's like, listen, he's telling them all. And matter of fact, I go so far as to say, if you go a little bit further up, he, he was just, this is when he had just told uh, 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 Simon Peter, <laughs> amen, that, 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 you, that you, you hear from God, yeah, that you understand, that, you know, you know who I am. You really do know who I am, amen. Why? Because nobody else really knew who he was, amen. Everybody else thought maybe he was Elijah, maybe he was this, maybe he was that, but he understood that he was the son of the living God. Mm -hmm. Peter understood. Everybody get it? 
Amen. And so, and so, and so, and so, and so as we continue down, we end up right here. Mm -hmm. And again, he says, then he said to them all. And so he didn't just, he didn't just say it to Peter, the one that knew who he was, but he told it to all those that was with him. Somebody say all. all. Yeah, yeah. He told it to all of them. He, he, he didn't whisper in secret. Hey, you know, Peter, oh, uh, oh. Uh. But no, he told all of them. He said to them all. And so sometimes when the word be coming, amen, we be like, that ain't for me. <laughs> uh -uh, yeah. He talking about you, sis. <laughs> but it's for all of us. The word is for amen. all of us. Amen. Amen. And so he said to them all. He says, if anyone desires to come after me. And so again, if anyone, anyone. And so he didn't say if you was a male. He didn't say if you was female. He didn't say if you was church of God. He didn't say if you was uh, 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 apostolic. He didn't say if you was uh, um, uh, Baptist. He didn't say none of that. He said if anyone. Everybody understand? Yes. He didn't say if you was from America. <laughs> but if anyone, anyone, somebody say anyone. anyone. So how we got there? All Anyone, all, anyone. Okay, okay. This, 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 this kind of adds up. Okay. And so again, then he said to them all, if anyone desires, and so that word desires, that word desires, we can look at if anyone pursues. Amen. If anyone desires, if anyone pursues to, to come after him. If anyone makes a decision to come after him, if anyone has made a choice to come after him, amen? Yeah, am I talking to anybody? Anybody here has, has, has chose to follow Christ? Anybody? Anybody made a decision? Anybody pursuing God? Amen? And so he said, this is what he's saying. He's like, listen. Then he said to them all, if anyone desires to come, after me. And to come after me, that word means just what we read in the title. It means to follow him. So he says to come after me. In other words, to follow me. And so just like I was teasing with that somebody I was talking about, about Simon. Amen. Simon, y'all, anybody remember the game Simon? You had to follow the colors. And so if you didn't follow the colors, what happened? And Right? And so I'm telling us, if we're going to be in Christ and we ain't following what he's saying, eh, oh, <laughs> you, well, maybe God didn't really mean that. Eh. Yeah. Well, I ain't really got to, I ain't really got to pray like that. I ain't really got to serve like, eh. Well, ain't nobody really got to be in church like that. Ain't nobody got to get eh. Everybody understand it? Because you ain't following it. You ain't you 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 trying to do your own thing. You trying to come up with your own stuff. And so I'm telling you, church is easy. Ministry is difficult because church is easy to follow the program. All right, amen. That's what makes it easy. It's easy to follow the program. What's on the program? Hey, what's next? What's next? What's on the program? <laughs> but ministry say we got to get beyond that program. What is God saying? Amen. Church is easy. Ministry is difficult. Okay, let's make it a little bit plain. Sometimes you can ask people, you know, hey, hey, bro, what's God saying? What's, what, what do you believe God is doing right now? Well, pastor say, <laughs> well, pastor said that God said that. No, what's God saying to you? What are you hearing? Well, I don't know. I know. I, you know why you don't know? Because you're just churching. Right. You're just churching. You just, you just know what, what somebody done told you. Yeah, God. But he said his sheep know his voice. Are you a sheep or is or, or is just your pastor a sheep? Mm -hmm. It's just your apostle a sheep. Again, church is easy. So if all I got to do is do, do what they say do, all I got to do is be here on this time. All I got to do is, is well, you know, you know, Bishop said, well, you know, did this. But what is God saying? Well, you know, my bishop, well, my pastor. What my apostle said. What my uh, so are you preaching your apostle? Are you preaching your pastor? Or are you preaching Christ? Hallelujah. Right. 
Yes, he's given us men and women of God, amen, to, to help us. Mm -hmm. But listen, the thing I need us to understand, church is easy. Mm -hmm. Ministry is difficult. Why is it so difficult? Because again, church, you can just follow the program. Church, or you can just follow the leader. They say, raise your hand, you raise your hand. They say, they, 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 they say worship, they say worship. They say stand, you just stand. You say, but when ain't nobody else standing, when ain't nobody else worshiping, can't. Can you still worship? Yes, yes. Can you still? Mm -hmm. Can you still honor God if ain't nobody else feeling yes. it like you? Or are you watching what everybody else doing and trying to be in order? Not right. mm -hmm. Jesus. I'm just doing what the house do. But what? what but what? what, what ain't, ain't you gonna be doing what God would have you yes. to do? Yes. yes. Well, He's a God of order. He's a God of order. Hey Amen. He's ordering you to honor Him with your life. Yes. 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 He's ordering you, amen. If you feel that thing is coming up in you and you need, that's your order. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But church won't allow you to do that. Mm. Are we hearing this today? Amen. Church is easy. Ministry is difficult. Amen. Somebody say, uh-uh. Ah. There it is. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you. And so again, I know the young people that that that, that game, they say that game is whack because they got, you know, everything is so electronic nowadays. And we got all this animation, everything just so 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 wonderful. But we had we 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 had games too, amen. But you just had to follow the color. <laughs> you gotta follow them colors, boy. If you ain't follow them colors, what you get? And there you go. That, that means you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. And so what I'm telling us, if we ain't following Christ, we're wrong. Amen. If we say we're his, mm -hmm. if we say we're coming after him, if we say, Jesus, and we ain't following him, we ain't coming after him, we just coming after church, <laughs> we're wrong. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. And so, if, uh, and, and so again, I, I, I try to tell us, you better know Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't 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 be going out of here. Amen. As much as I, I appreciate y'all loving me, what my apostle said, blah 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 blah. What, what your Bible say? Amen. We get in here. We 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 go by the word. Give them that word. Give them what God say. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. I ain't trying to talk about it. nobody. I'm just trying to give you an example of how this thing works. If you've ever had a conversation with a Muslim, amen, that's what Elijah Muhammad teaches us. What Elijah Muhammad teaches us. What Elijah Muhammad teaches us. And so if you run around talking about what well, Apostle teaches us, well, Apostle said, you just, you the same. You, you ain't no different. <laughs> you better know what God says. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? What the Honorable Louis, Louis Farrakhan said. No, what does Jesus say? What does the Bible say? Are we hearing this thing today? Yes, sir. In fact, you ever, you, you ever wonder why when they do a name change, they say, well, I'm such and such, Mohammed? Mm -hmm. Y'all ever wonder? Mm -hmm. Or maybe you didn't. You ever wonder? I'm such and such, Mohammed, or Mo Mohammed, blah, blah, blah. It's because of the Elijah, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. They got his name. And so my name, is, I guess my name would be Chauncey Christ, because I got the name of Christ. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. I'm just saying. Y'all understand? That's, that's real. I'm, that's not a joke. I'm saying that, that's for real. That's for real. And so if I'm going to do a name change, I'm going to say I'm Chauncey Christ. Even though that ain't his last name, even though his last name ain't Christ, I'm just saying. Because uh, I don't know what the Bible says Joseph's last name was. So I don't, you know, so I don't, I don't know what his last name was, but I'm, I'm going to say Christ. Amen? Amen? All right. Church is easy. Right. <laughs> Ministry is difficult. Amen. Amen? Church is easy. Ministry is difficult. So if anyone desires, so again, I'm in pursuit of him. Amen. I'm coming after God. I, you know, we say, I'm chasing after you. Amen. And so I'm, I'm, I'm coming after him. Yeah. I'm, God, I'm after you.
you. I'm, 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 I'm chasing you. I desire, amen, to come after you. And so again, he says to come after me. Yes. Come after me. Pursue me. Amen. Listen, but we've been taught to pursue the church. All right. Man. We've been taught to pursue the church. And that's why when we meet people, we talk to people. You need to come to my church. No, let them see the church in you. Amen. 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 If they see the church in you, then they may want some of that church. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so then you can bring them to the building. Mm -hmm. Because this ain't nothing but a building. Amen. Mm -hmm. But you introduce them to the church because the church is in you. Amen. What do you mean? He says, I'm coming back for my bride. Yeah. Amen. This ain't got nothing to do with brick and mortar. Yeah. Amen. You are the bride of Christ. He ain't going to marry no building. <laughs> he ain't like us. <laughs> Amen. Sometimes, you know, again, we marry buildings. How do you know? We love our houses. Come on now. <laughs> Amen. We love our house. We, hey, listen. My house, my house, my house, my house, my house, my house. I, I love my house. I love my house. Oh, we marry our car. I love my car. Oh, we oh, we marry our motorcycle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love my motorcycle. <laughs> Everybody understanding what I'm saying. Amen. But see, he he, he ain't into that. He for, for right. God so loved the world, he loved his people. Amen. 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 I heard the man of God say he walked with me. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I want you to switch that. He walking in you. All right. He ain't yeah. just beside you. Right. In the oh. days of old, he walked with him. He walked yeah, alongside. Yeah, Lord. But this New Testament God that we, that we serve, amen. amen, he resides on the inside. He said, know ye that your body is the temple oh. of God. Yeah. And where does God dwell? In yeah. his temple. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. And so again, church is easy. Mm -hmm. Ministry is difficult. Church is easy. Church is easy. Church is easy. Listen, if anyone desires to come after me, to come after me now, you want to come out, you want to pursue me, he says this, let him deny himself. And so when you, when you look at that word deny, he said, let him. Amen. Everybody raise one finger in the air. Amen. And then point it at yourself. Say, yeah, that's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Let me hear you say, say, that's him. That's him. Amen. That's him. That's him. And so, again, he says, let him deny himself. And when you see that word deny, that word means reject yourself. Yes. But how many of us, of us don't really reject ourselves? Nobody, I can't find nobody, nobody. Do you know somebody? Nobody, nobody, no. Amen. Some of y'all remember them songs. Amen. Y'all tell y'all age. Tell y'all age. Amen. Cause, cause, see, listen. We ain't gonna deny ourselves. We don't reject ourselves. So what am I trying to say? So what that got to do with church is easy, ministry? It's difficult because if God tells us that, hey, this is the place I need you to be, I want you to go over here. If they ain't got no children's ministry, we ain't gone. If they ain't got no choir, we ain't gone. Amen. If they ain't got, you know, uh, a, a, enough room, amen, they ain't got room in, on, on the praise team, but they ain't got room, we ain't gone. Why? Because we ain't going to deny ourselves. Can, I, can, we, can we just keep it 100? Hey Amen. Listen, 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 listen. But he says, let him deny himself. And so when we go looking for a ministry or when God is trying to do something with us, we always looking for what we want right. in a ministry, what we want in a church, what we want, what how I want. What, and so in other words, we, de we don't deny ourselves. Is this making sense? Yes. Yeah. Well, I was raised this way. I was raised in this church, in this type of church. And so when we go looking for a church, we go looking for that type of church. And because we wanted to be like where I came from. We wanted this. This is what I know. This is what I'm used to. But deny yourself. Yes. Go and be what God is calling you to. Yes. 
Church is easy. Ministry is difficult. Amen. So what make it easy? It make it easy because that's what you're used to. Mm -hmm. It make it easy because you already know the flow. Mm -hmm. You already know when to shut the door. You know, you, know, you know just when to. You know just when the pastor's help done come on. You know just when he getting ready to. Ah, oh, Lord. You already know. You, you know it's easy. It's already set up. You, all, you can already. You ain't got to discern. You already know because that's the system. And so you and so you can already get ready. Because you know what's coming. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so church is easy. Yeah. When you already know. But being in ministry is making yourself vulnerable to the Lord. Yeah. Church is easy. Mm -hmm. Ministry is difficult. Church is easy. Ministry is difficult. And I know some people still saying, well, I don't really understand. You ain't saying nothing. Amen? But I'm, I'm going to help you. The church is for you. I'm going to say that again. The church is for me. Me coming in this house today is for me. And so some people say, well, I'm going to, the, I'm, I'm going to church. I, 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 I want to visit with the Lord. Amen. And so, but the only reason you get to visit with the Lord is because somebody brought the Lord with them. Amen. Amen. And he said, well, two or three are gathered. Amen. Then I'll be. Amen. But church is really, listen. Oh, I wish I had my board up here right now, but I, it's, it's okay. But if I had my board, this is what I'll show you right here. <laughs> Sunday morning, people say I'm going to church. <laughs> what type of church? I'm going, I'm going to church service. <laughs> or people ask you, you been to service today? <laughs> or they ask you, how was service? Everybody, everybody hear me? Yeah. And so if, if, if you got it during the week or whatever, they say, how was your midweek service? Yeah. Amen. Why? Because it's about a service. But the service is for you. The service is for me. This ain't even, God, I, I really hate to say it like this, but really, it ain't even about God. We want God to be present. We want him to show up. We want him to show out. We want him to do what he's going to do. But the service is for us. What do you mean service? Follow me for a minute. Remember, church is easy. Ministry is difficult. The thing that made church easy is this. In the days of old, and some of y'all have heard me talk about it, amen, but I, I remember growing up as a child. When you pulled into a full service gas station, the car pull in, you don't get out your car unless you want to. You stay in your car. And the person that's inside of that, and see, because it wasn't no convenience store. It was a gas station. Yeah. Notice, it wasn't a convenience mm -hmm. store. It was a gas station. Amen? And so, and so, and normally that gas station even had a garage. And so when you pull up to that gas station, amen, remember, church service. And so, and so you pull up to a full service gas station. You sit in your car. How much you want? Mm -hmm. And you tell them how much you want, and they start pumping your gas. Mm -hmm. While they pumping your gas, they, they wiping your windshield. Mm -hmm. They checking your wiper blade. Everybody understand? They check your wiper blade. Matter of fact, they'll open up the hood. They check your oil. Amen. They check your radiator fluid. Yep. Amen. They check your belts. Amen. They walk around them tires and look at the tires and, and, and whatever. And then all of a sudden, they decide. Uh, you know your belt a little loose. 
You know, if you want to pull it on in here, I can take care of it for you right now. <laughs> because they weren't making a whole lot of money off the gas. Right. They were making money off people, off, off, really off fixing people's cars. Yeah. Amen. And so, but all these services were free. Amen. But they ain't going to fix your car for free. Right. Amen. But they'll check it mm -hmm. for free. And so this is full service now. I'm telling you that they, they did all this. Amen. And so, because this is okay, make the comparison. Y'all don't like y'all like so. <laughs> the thing I'm trying to tell us is the reason why we are assembling here today is to have our oil checked. The reason why we are assemble up in here today for somebody to check our windshield and make sure we can see straight. Amen. Because sometimes, amen, in life we've been got off track, but we ain't seeing straight no more. Amen. Well, we need our oil checked. So, well, I need I, I need a little more oil. In other words, I need a little more love. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so, when we come, we need to be serviced. And so, hence, we have service. And so, I'm telling you, church is needed. Mm -hmm. We need church, but it's for us. Mm -hmm. It's for us. Church is for us. <laughs> okay. I, Church is for us. But you want to know how you glorify God? We glorify God through ministry. Through ministry. Remember, he came here to do ministry. And by us doing ministry, amen, only thing we're doing is coming after him. Because he did ministry. He didn't just do church. He went up in the synagogue and he gave a word and he did what he going to have to do. And then he was back out there doing it. Grind. Everybody understand what I'm saying? Church is easy. We find in the word, we say, hey, when he stood up, he opened the word, and he read it. And he said he went on this long speech and ah, and screaming and running up and down the aisle and making people happy and two stepping and hugging and fucking and all. I, I ain't seen that. I ain't seen it. And again, I'm not knocking nobody's style. But what I'm telling us is the reason why we come to church is so we can be serviced. We can be fixed. We can, we can be ready. We can be road ready. Because life is a journey. Life is a road. And so that's why we come in so we can be road ready. Amen. And so, but the road is our ministry. What are you talking about, Apostle? I'm telling us, amen, if you go to Ephesians 4, it'll say that he's given us, matter of fact, let's go there. I want to show you. Y'all know I don't usually jump, but I think it's needful that I show you this. Ephesians 4. Everybody there? Amen. Ephesians 4. Somebody say church is easy. Church is easy. Ministry is difficult. <laughs> Ain't nobody really got to teach you how to do church. Ain't nobody got to teach you to do church. Amen. Why? Just follow the program. Everybody understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ephesians 4. Everybody there? Amen. Let's look at verse 11. Amen. And he himself gave some to be Apostles, some, some, and some, and for the of, for, for the edifying of the, okay, and so, and so he gave them to equip them for what? For the work of ministry. He didn't say he gave us so you can come to church. He didn't say he gave the fire. He didn't, he didn't give a, a, apostles, evangelists, a, a prophets, pastors, teachers, so you can come to church. Amen. But it's to equip you for ministry. Amen. To do ministry is to do Christ. To do church is for us. Do we need church? Yes. That's why he says, forsake not the assembly. But the reason we need to be equipped is because ministry it's difficult. Yeah. So we got to be equipped. Are we hearing this today? Did we, do we see it in the word? Amen. For the equipment of the saints for the work of ministry. ministry. Because ministry 
is difficult. Ministry is difficult. But that's what we're called to do. We're called to do ministry. Hallelujah. Amen. And so again, I'm back, I'm, I'm back at Luke. Excuse me, I'm back at Luke 9. And I'm almost off this for the day. Amen. I'm almost, almost. And so he says, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself. Yeah. Let him deny himself. And so to deny myself, amen, means, amen, yep, I can do church real good. But to do ministry means I got to deny myself. Mm -hmm. Amen. To do, to, because listen, I'm telling you, sometimes you can go to church, mm -hmm. amen, and because it's easy, if everybody's standing and praising or whatever, you can just decide, I ain't getting up. Mm -hmm. I'm not moving. Come on, clap your hand, clap your hand, clap your hand. What I'm clapping for? Amen. What I'm clapping for? Again, we get, we get that choice. We get, it's, it's, it's a matter of choice. I don't feel like it. I don't have to praise God like you do. I don't have to do like you do. Okay. You really don't. But all you're really doing is doing what you want to do. <laughs> Instead of denying yourself. Because if this was asked of me, if somebody asked me to, I ain't doing it. If somebody asked me, I don't feel like doing that. Well, deny yourself and do what was asked of you. Are we hearing this? Is that going to kill you to clap your hands? Remember, I talked to us about the clapping of hands. We've heard about the clap, clapping of hands remove demons. The clapping of hands, amen, will glorify God, amen. Stuff will move by the clapping of your hands. And so in other words, you can do ministry through the clapping of your hands, but you refuse to clap your hands, and so you don't want to do ministry. Mm -hmm. You just here to do church. In other words, you just here for you. That's why church is easy. But ministry is difficult. Amen. Because ministry says, ministry says, put yourself on the back burner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Put yourself on the back burner. Ministry say, I don't like people. I don't like talking to people. But but when that thing come up in you and, and, and God is pushing you, listen. <sighs> Has anybody else in here ever been in sin besides me? Okay. And so being in sin, I was conditioned to kind of like it. I ain't gonna say it. Matter of fact, I was conditioned to love it. Amen. Amen. I was conditioned to love it. Amen. And, and so and so listen, people say all the time, uh, uh that, that, that 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 they hate sin and that whatever. I'm telling you, I loved it. I was a lover of sin. Amen. I like doing what I was doing. Amen. And when people come around me talking about talking that God stuff, man, go on. Go on now. Get on before you get spit on. Go on. I like what I'm doing. You understand what I'm saying? And so I'm conditioned to doing sin. Yes. But when I came to Christ, now I have, because Christ is working in my life, amen, because I've, 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 I've taken up my cross and I begin to follow him, yeah. amen, now I have the power that I need to say, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Yeah, Lord. But listen, it don't mean that it don't come up. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. It don't mean that you don't think about it no more, but you got to make a decision. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Why? Because your body, again, I'm telling you, your body was conditioned to do anything. Amen. And because you were so conditioned, because your mind was, 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 was so far gone in, in doing what we was doing outside of Christ, amen, that, that too has become a part of us. Yeah. Now, has God delivered us? Has God set us free? Yes. He's given us the power to overcome. Yes. To overcome. Amen. And so if we have the power to overcome, you got to understand that it's still going to be some stuff that come that you got to get over. Uh huh. And so, and so, but if we just churching, we ain't so apt 
to get over some stuff. Amen. Why? I like what I do. Amen. It's, it's okay. They don't never say nothing. They, I can say this. I can just come to church. I can get my praise on. I can set, I can get my blessing and I can go home. But it don't require nothing of you. It don't require you to stop nothing, to give up nothing. To, to, to. It don't require you to change. You just been to church. And that's why it's easy. And sometimes I talk to folk, and, 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 and I, I try to, listen, I need you to be in the house, man. I, I, I need you to come. You need to be, it's, it's so why? Because iron sharpens iron. We're in here together. We need each other. We need this servicing. Mm -hmm. Amen? And so just like I mentioned earlier that the, the, the man at the pump, he want to change your, uh, he, he need to either tighten or change the belt on your car. Amen? And so God is trying to change the belt on some stuff. He's trying to change some stuff in our life. He's trying to adjust some stuff. Amen. But we don't want it. <laughs> Amen. Now, I, I, I'll admit, sometimes we can't afford it. Amen. Amen. But but can you afford to be without your car? Mm. And so we got to make a decision. Mm. Do I take care of this? Or do I risk being on the side of the road? Mm -hmm. Amen. And so ministry says, this is a must. Mm -hmm. But church say, I'll get to it when I get to it. I'm going to take a chance. But by them finding it, and even if you don't know nothing about it, there was a relationship between mechanic and the person. Because usually one of those out-of-towners usually come into that gas station. There was usually person, there was usually some relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Amen. And so you understand, I, I can trust him. To tell me what's what's really going on. Mm -hmm. I can trust her. Mm -hmm. Amen. Church is easy. Mm -hmm. Ministry is difficult. Mm -hmm. Are we hearing this today? Mm -hmm. Again, listen, I'm still in 20, uh, 23. Then he said to them all, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself. Let him deny himself. And so again, it's it's for us. If if we indeed gonna come after Christ. We have to deny ourselves. Yeah. Amen. And again, in other words, reject yourself. Put yourself on the back burner. Make yourself of no report. Amen. And so, okay, let's, let's, let's go a little further. I don't like cooking. Y'all have heard me say it before. Washing dishes, cooking, washing dishes, anything in the kitchen, except for the cookie jar or the whatever, stuff like that. I got I got all access. Amen. But as far as washing dishes and all and, and cooking and all that, that ain't my thing. That ain't my thing. Listen, that ain't my thing. And so, but in our house, she do what she do, but she ain't got to wash no clothes. I got that. She ain't got to clean the bathroom. I got that. But that kitchen. <laughs> Walk right on through. Amen. But what I but 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 what I will do, especially if we got people over, and I know she's been in that cook in, in that cooking and clean and, and, and making sure everybody got a meal, we got family or whatever, she ain't got to worry about that kitchen. I'm gonna take care of that. Amen. Cause I know she's been on her feet all day. But then I just tell y'all I don't like it. Right. I just told you that. Right. But, but I'm going to deny myself. Amen. I'm going to deny my feelings and get in there and get it done. Amen. Okay, let's bring it to the house. I know everybody don't always see stuff on the ground. I know everybody don't always want to clean. I don't want to clean that bathroom. I ain't use that bathroom. Somebody else been there. I don't have that pee all over the seat. I don't want, I don't want to clean that bathroom. Deny yourself. This is our house. Amen. Let's help keep it clean. Amen. 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 Deny yourself. And again, that, 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 ain't, that ain't the premise of this whole sermon. Because I know somebody's going to say, that's what he wanted to get to anyway. That's what he wanted to get to. <laughs> <laughs> you know how people are. Amen. But I'm trying to help us. Amen. Amen. I'm, 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 I'm trying to help us with what it means really to deny yourself. Yeah. 
It means it, it, it means it don't matter that, that, that you don't like doing that. It don't matter that you just got your nails done. Amen. We got all kind of gloves around here. Amen. Put some gloves on. Well, my back hurt. Mine too. But somebody got to do it. Amen. So let's help. Let's deny ourselves. Amen. Does this make sense? Amen. That's ministry. Why? How do you know you're doing ministry? Why? Because, because ministry. Christ said, I came to serve. Yeah. Not to be served. Yeah. He came to do ministry. And so if we're going to help clean, if we're going to help take care of the building or whatever, guess what you're doing? You're serving. You're denying yourself Amen. and serving. You're getting yourself out the way and taking care of some stuff. You're getting yourself out the way and being a help to someone that's doing it all the time. Well, ain't nobody asked me. Don't nobody should have to ask you. You know it need to be done. Sir. Church is easy. <laughs> Ministry is difficult. Amen. Ministry requires you to get away from you. Yeah. And what's good for you. What you like, what you don't like, how you feel, whatever. Okay, reject yourself. Get over yourself. Mm -hmm. And let's get it done. Amen? Amen? Amen. One more, one more, one more, one more we, we, we can do this one more thing. Amen? Get ready, we're going to get ready to shut this thing down. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen? Church is easy. Ministry is difficult. We're going we to get ready to shut this first part down. If anyone desires to come after me, and I did want to point out, amen, that capital M, come after me. Yes. Amen. He's talking about Christ. Yes. Amen. Because I want, I want to make sure everybody understand. I ain't trying to make no, dis no, no disciples of Apostle Craig. Amen. amen. We're trying to make disciples of Christ. And so I ain't saying come after me. Right. Amen. I want you to get, he's talking about coming after him. Amen. Pursuing him. So we're pursuing Christ. He says this. Let him deny himself. And so if we're indeed going to come after Christ, we got to deny ourselves. Amen. We got to deny ourselves. Amen. And so again, so even when instructions are coming, listen, one of the craziest things are young people. You can sit down and talk to them. As the, the old people would say, to you blue in the face. You know how they say that. Amen. <laughs> But you can talk to them. You can talk to them. Talk to them. Talk to them. You can talk to our young people. We can talk to our young people and be like, listen, baby. Don't do that. You need to, listen, you need to consider doing this right here. Do it. You need to consider A, B, C, D. I'm telling you, the end of that is not going to work. The end of that is, is going to be like this. Well, not for me, because I, I talked to my friend, and, and I saw on YouTube, and and then, and, and I'm going to tell you, they got this thing, that this app where you can just do it like this, and, and you try to tell them, no, don't. And so, what they do is they say, well, I would just do it anyway, because I feel like this is right. And then, you say, didn't I tell you? Did I tell you not, not to do that, whatever? Well, I, I had to get the experience. No, you didn't. I already had the experience. And I tried to give it to you before you even did it. And so you ain't got to make your own mistakes. I'm already, I'm already telling you what it's like. I've been there. I've been your age. You ain't never been mine. You ain't ever been my age. You ain't, you ain't been through what I've been through. I don't care how. You may, have, you know, you may know how to do math better than me. You may know how to work this computer better than me, but you ain't live long as me. All right, all right. And I'm trying to tell you, this is the way it's going to happen. Now, you may feel like, okay, I, I, I told him. Then all of a sudden, you fall on your face, and then you're trying to hide. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna. I don't, don't want to talk to mama. I don't want mama to see me. I don't want daddy to see. I don't know. And you trying to hide with that? But they know. They already told you. You can save yourself a lot of headache by living on somebody else's example. Instead of feeling like you got to make your own mistakes. Amen. You have to make your own mistakes. Learn from somebody else's mistakes. Amen. Baby, put some shoes on. It's ice on the ground out there. I always wear these. Everybody, everybody wear Crocs. You can put your Crocs on. You just got to put it in sport mode. 
<laughs> you gotta put some shoes on. Man. I got my house slippers. I just put my house slippers on. My house slippers go I fail. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around the house limping. Why you limping? What's wrong with you? I fail. <laughs> just that easy. I just told you. Put some shoes on. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Church is easy. Ministry is difficult because ministry means denying yourself. Well, this is my feeling. This is just how I feel. Just how I feel about it. You know, I just want to go through my. No, I just told you now. You ain't got to do that. You ain't got to do that. But the hard part is, is when the, when, when when children become, quote unquote, adults. 18, 19, 20, 18, they say they're adults. Huh? But I'm telling you, they, it really don't happen until they're like 25. 25 is when 25 is when they about when they really start being adults. Most. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some ain't got there yet. Amen. But it's some 60, 70 year olds ain't got there yet either. Okay. So I, I need y'all to understand. Yeah. It's, 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 some, it's some of them ain't got there yet. And so uh I, I would say so don't feel bad, but I do want you to feel bad so you get you you you'll get there now. You don't have to wait. Amen. Amen. You don't have to wait. You don't have, you don't have to wait and make all the mistakes. Learn from somebody else's mistake and do what you gotta do. Amen. And so, again, I can go on and on right there. But the thing I'm trying to help us understand is that church is easy. Ministry is difficult. Amen. Ministry says deny yourself. Amen. Ministry says put your feelings over there. Mm -hmm. Ministry says what, what you think, how you feel. It's too cold out there. I'm not going over there to see about them. They can walk. No. Ministry says get up and go take care of that. Amen. Amen. Using my gas. Well, you use your gas to go get them lotto tickets. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, no, I got the app on my phone, baby. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> but go see about them. Amen. Well, they grown now. They grown. They got, no, you still, you, I'm telling you, still got a parent. All right. Still, still got a parent. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. Don't give up on them. You still got a parent. Amen. They don't appreciate nothing. They act like they don't appreciate it. They don't. <laughs> but guess what? We didn't either. <laughs> we didn't either until we came of age and we learned to appreciate. That's right. My Lord. So we still got to see about them. Amen. I ain't say you got to carry them. Amen. But you still got to see about them. Amen. Why? That's ministry. Amen. That's ministry. The churches say, hey, they get on your nerve. You need to cut yourself away from that negative energy. You just, just go on, let them be. That's not it. That's not how it works. That's your assignment. That's what God has given you. That's your baby. Uh, uh, that might be somebody else's baby. Well, the other person really don't care. But you got to get away from yourself and do care. Because it's ministry. But church say, call the pastor. <laughs> call deacon so-and-so. They'll do it. No, you gonna do it. They called you. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we hearing this today? Yes. Church is easy. Mm. Ministry is difficult. Hallelujah. Lord. Amen. We bless the Lord today. Amen for this word. We'll catch you on the next one. Amen. Part two. Hallelujah. God bless you. Peace.